I believe uh, two kinds of solidarities are being built today and there is a very clear polarization among them. One is a negative solidarity of a part of the liberals and the communalists who also, of course, uh, there, there is this uh, strange amalgam of uh, communalism and neoliberalism. Uh, and on the, on the other hand, against this, there is another solidarity, uh, I mean, another kind of formation taking place uh, because it's a unique historic moment when it seems that the destinies of the peasants and the workers and even of the intellectuals and the writers and uh, cultural activists uh, have all come together. Have, I mean, by, by the force of circumstances, it looks like that there is, there is such a unity being built up uh, across the country. I mean, not, not confined to any particular part of the country, across the country. And, and, and this uh, rally of the peasants and the, uh, and the workers is in fact a reflection of the, the kind of unity that is being built. Uh, and, uh, but of course, there are other sections, Dalits, Women, uh, you know, I mean, se sexual minorities, religious minorities. There are there are other sections which are also equally marginalized and oppressed, and all of them are uh, equally unhappy, and uh, all of them uh, are beginning to turn against. Uh, uh, I would not say the state, but at least the government, and 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 uh, and so I think that uh, this is an, uh, this is an epochal moment in uh, in Indian history, uh, where the uh, the entire subaltern sections of the people are uh, forced to come together to fight a common enemy, and and so this is for me. I mean, this is the moment when the largest possible unity should be built among the among the left forces among even the I mean, the left liberal uh, you know intellectuals and uh, uh, activists and uh, writers and all that and, uh, and 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 i believe that this rally will be a, in that sense the beginning of a larger movement which would uh, which would expand to include other dis, uh, dissatisfied sections uh, of the uh, of the society in, in general and of course as i said uh, the dalits and the women and the intellectuals and cultural activists and writers and uh, who not? Uh, so uh, it, 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 it's all, yeah. As I said, it's also to be noted that uh, at least a section of the liberals are also going that side uh, towards the right, uh, which which has happened all all through. I mean, I, I, so I am not saying that this is fascism in the in the, in the because the, the word has become so confusing. I would say there is a kind of authoritarian tendency, obviously, in the government, and uh, and wherever authoritarianism has grown, whether it is in uh, you know in Italy under Mussolini or in Germany under Hitler or in Spain under Franco or as you see today the Viktor Orban or uh, Erdogan or uh, Trump or uh, you, you can you can uh, or before that uh, Pinochet uh, 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 various kinds of people so uh, in all these countries uh, this has happened a part of the liberals going towards the right while a part of course uh, is forced to uh, to, to uh, unite with the left and 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 to uh, engage uh, the the enemies in a in a kind of uh, a democratic battle uh, in the in the case of India. Uh, so uh, that's why I say that this is a this is an important moment for us, especially now that uh, the the general elections are not far away. Uh, this unity is uh, definitely uh, it, it needs to be built, and it is going to uh, hopefully uh, you know change the destiny of the the nation and and of the people.